Record top left. Yes, yeah. it's recording. If you want to pause it at any stage, if things. Go on then. Uh, I'm not sure what heat. Did you have a tube of boiler and fire on the on your previous van? Had a fire. Yeah, so you would have had the the, bo the boiler, which would have had a removable cover. Yes. On the outside, yeah. Yes. This one hasn't got a removable cover. That's that's how it is. So that's your vent for your boiler. It's a combined heater as well. So this boiler is heating and hot water mm -hmm. all in co combined into one unit. This one here is for an external shower, which you've got, which is a part of the uh, pack that, you, that you've got, so you can uh, wash off boots or dogs or kids or whatever. Dogs the thing, on. yeah. Dogs, yeah. Obviously, it's, it's only cold water, so obviously you don't yeah. expect it to be warm coming in. Well, you've got two inlets for water, okay? Just tell you on the uh, actual lid itself where, where it's going, so direct to tap. So that's mm -hmm. how you would have used, I don't know if you had an onboard tank on the previous van. I did, but I never used it, no, believe it or not. You yeah. may have had just one inlet. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was just one inlet. Yeah. Well, this you got the, you got two inlets. One is for the uh, ordinary ac roll into your van, hot water and everything mm -hmm. else. The top one, as it says, direct to tank. So that actually fills it, just fills the tank. Right. Okay. So what you can do is obviously fill fill the tank. If you're going to use the tank, obviously fill the tank, fill the ac roll back up, click that back into the bottom connection. So you got the equipment of having two. Yeah. You know, two water sources. So that does it automatically. If I put the um, the pump into the top socket, it'll go in automatically. No, no. No. You have to switch on the control panel, which right. I'll show you. Okay. Okay, so obviously, if you need to fill the tank, it's going to be in that, that position there. Yeah. Or if you want to just use the actual that position there. Okay, okay. You've, got two, you've got two pumps with it the onboard pump, mm -hmm. which you may have had on your last one, so you yeah. might have just had a dip, dip, uh, pipe. This one's got a, a pump on the bottom of that one. Yeah. So that's to push water into the tank. It's, it doesn't operate when you operate just the normal water system. It just acts as a pipe to yeah. Obviously, it just draws water using the the um, internal pump. Okay. Okay. Right, battery box. I would think exactly the same. Key for your motor mover position is there, just underneath the cable. Right. Okay. So I think it's your it's your motor mover, isn't it? It your is. Yeah, it's been it's been transferred over. Yeah. yeah. So you're happy how that works. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Right. Obviously, further along, obviously you've got your wastewater outlets there. Yep. <coughs> We've got the back, obviously, the toilet set, which I should think would be the same, same as the last one, yeah. yeah. So you're happy how that works. You've got, also got a drain there, obviously, make sure for winter, obviously, it's coming up rather rapid now, mm -hmm. even though it is quite mild still. Obviously, the uh, drain, make sure you drain your flush tank for winter. Yeah. Best thing to do also is to run your pump. So inside, try and drain as much as you, out, your, out your tank with the pump so it drains down into there. Yeah. The other reason for that is it's obviously spinning water out your pump. Sure. So you haven't got any water held in there, and yeah. okay. I'd like it to freeze. And you see, it's got different type of uh, lot better, different type of locks. Yep. Which I'll show you around this side because I've got the key with me in the moment. As you make sure that the lock is shut because it can twist and warp. You can shut it correctly. Right. So keys. There's just one key to everything. Mm -hmm. so you've got one, one of the spare. What you do? You notice to hold it up, it's got a spring. Obviously, as you, as you can see in there, you've got, you've got your different things of wheel lock, jack, cable, winder handle, and everything else. Yep. And your consumer units here, which we'll show you when we get inside. But obviously, the spring holds it up. You just push that and let, obviously let it go down. So just be careful when you're going to access anything under there. You can know, uh, <laughs> which I've yeah. done before now, it's back, right. back at the end. Yeah. So just be careful on that. To shut it, so it use its own weight, and then what you do is just lock it. Click in. Obviously, make sure you haven't put the keys in. You've locked it. Then yeah, put the keys in. Very true. You're in trouble. Obviously, to open it, just un unlock it. It just pops in. Okay. Okay. It just pops in. Obviously, a very, very important is checking your wheel nuts. Mm -hmm. okay, that's why I've got my my torque spanner there, which I'm going to check before obviously before you leave. Just tell you on the uh, plate here and in the, in your handbook, alloy 130 newton meters. Yep. Okay. So obviously, make sure you're checking that prior to each trip. And obviously, if you take the wheel off, make sure you check it again. They recommend around about 30 miles or 30 minutes travelling, mm -hmm. just to recheck it if you have taken the wheel off. That is, okay. You also see single play um, CD. Have I mean, you that's your jet one for that one. Search is left mm -hmm. and right there. USB as well, so you got a connection for there for your USB, which is on the front there. Right. So the, oh so yeah. I guess yeah. only dashboard then, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that's that's so that's out there. Yeah, yeah. So you can connect to the stereo through there. Okay. I've got to distract me as I'm talking. Yeah, sure. All right. So this 
this is a this is the bit a fun one which <coughs> obviously compared to your last one obviously it's gone a bit Star Wars now compared to uh, yeah a couple of years ago. Okay, I'll just see if I see that. Nice obviously one. See, it's got a sensor that picks up movement, so it obviously it goes to sleep, or the the, the, the panel light goes to sleep. You just whack, whack your hand across it, and it'll just light mm -hmm. it up for you instead of having to press all the buttons. On off button is that one there, so that switches your 12 volt systems on and off. Mm -hmm. That one is your only light. I'll show you a little indicator light to say if it's on or off. That's your lights. So that switches all. Oh, have to hit the pump then. That's your dimmer light. So you can go. So that, that switches your, your dimmable lights on or off. Right. That one switches other other main lights on and off. Mm -hmm. well, obviously you can do them on, on your switches as well. Obviously your pump switch. So it obviously looks a bit like a tap. Then obviously you've got other things on your on the display at the moment. So it's showing you your charge level of your battery. It's 14.1 volt alone, obviously that's going for your charger. It's showing you it's connected to your ledger battery. So if it was connected to your car, you could obviously swap to your vehicle battery if you had that connected. Mm -hmm. Showing 240 connected. Also showing on this side how much water you've got on your onboard tank. Right. Okay. So you can run up and down on the menu. So we press the menu button. You can actually well, go back to the beginning. Right, so sergeant, if it says sergeant, that's that's just your main that's the, obviously the control panel it actually is. Press up or down on the buttons, you can go sy system settings. So if you want to change anything on that, which is you can change the clock. So you press the center button there, go up and down, you can set your minutes, set the day, your date, month, year, keep every every time you press it goes beep, you can turn that on or off. Backlight time, so you can you can have it so it's set. If you set it to zero or zero times, because at the moment it's thirty set at thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. You can get it to obviously it, it just goes dull after thirty seconds, or you can set it to stay on all the time if you wanted to. Tank alarms on, so if you tell it'll tell you obviously when you right your um, fresh water tank is down, and then Bluetooth pair. So I don't know if you're aware, you can actually a uh, Bluetooth connection. To it to operate it if you, you get need an app to run off the uh, off an iPad or a phone if you want to. Right. Just so, quickly, Peter. Yeah. Mr. Silk's battery under ashes there. It's labelled up. You can eat, obviously Bluetooth uh, delete a Bluetooth um, contraption mm -hmm. <laughs> as you want to call it. Yeah. Couldn't think of the exact word then. And obviously get back to exit settings. You can get back to the main menu. So it's showing you laser charging. Obviously showing no vehicle battery because obviously it's not one connected. Solar power, it tells you how much it's uh, giving you, obviously, the both voltage of your battery and also the amperage it's, it's obviously bringing in. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's not doing anything at the moment because we've got one, we've got the vehicle on the obviously charging through the 240 anyway. Yeah. So it's obviously, so it will show you how much amperage it's bringing in. And also, select the battery. If I try and select the battery, it will obviously tell you, look, no vehicle battery. So right. it won't connect to it because it's obviously not there. So it will automatically go stay with your laser battery. If you wanted to fill your tank, Obviously you need to get to this position to fill your tank. Obviously you need to connect to the top yeah. of your um, of the two inlets and tank fill on. You see a little icon comes on in the top corner to say it's filling. Okay, what it will do, it'll run for seven minutes, you can change the setting, it'll run for seven minutes or until the tank is full. When the tank's full it will shut off. Mm -hmm. Or after seven minutes it will shut off. If you haven't filled your tank fully in that seven minutes, all you do is just press tank fill on again. It'll run, it'll run until either it's full or which is um, the activation button then sorry when you're going through the menu you've gone through the menu yeah, that, that one starts it off then you just scroll up or down i'll just go back to you to the start again all right all right that's just going through sergeant right so that's your main main one if you press oh, one second let's go back to it again all right so that one activates it and yeah you have, have to go back to sleep again really but then you just scroll up or down on on your arrows. So heating, you can also, you've got heating settings. So you can actually control the heating settings. Apart from that, that's the main control panel for the heating. Yeah. You can, if you wanted to, control it off that. And again, you can actually control it off an iPad if you wanted to. Right. If it's obviously connected. Hopefully that's not too confusing, but there's obviously this is quite new to us. So obviously it's a brand new one for mm. 2016, which obviously is next year, next year's van, which is obviously, this is a 2016. Okay. 
Are you happy with that? Obviously, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff to. Obviously, you can't. Obviously, in your book. Yeah. So, and obviously, you can get it online as well. Okay. So, that, right, if you so are, yeah, if you that, are, that, that that's, that's the menu. Yeah. If you just press it up, you just it just goes up and down. Which okay. when you go, if when you get back to sizing, that's just the main. So if, that's it. So that's yeah. that's where where you start off. That's where you start off. Yeah. yeah. But at the moment, because you have to wait till it to go to sleep before it. Uh, because if you press that one, it just goes through the sergeant bit. Then if you. What does sergeants mean again? Oh, sergeant is that the actual system. All oh, right. That's that's just the actual okay. system. All right. DC six twenty. Okay. So do I have to wait for that to go to sleep then, or? Yeah. Well, if no, you obviously if you want to, you just go. Ah right. Yeah. Go through it, but if yeah. it has gone to sleep, you just need to press that button to start it off. Ah right. Okay. And we'll just go back to the. Yeah. Fill tank one because I've left that switch then. So you just press that one ah. to activate anything on any of this. Oh, the other one I obviously forgot about. It's got what they call the AC limit. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're aware of on site you'll have different amperage bollards. Yeah. Some are obviously lower than others. If you go to the camping caravan or caravan site, they tend to have a 16 amp. Yeah. Obviously if you overdraw the power, so you start using everything in electric in, in your yeah. van, and obviously that can trip it yeah. like on the bollard outside that is. Yeah. What you can do is limit it by using this. So I'll just show you, if you just click on that, you can have limit, because obviously you get on the continent, it can even be lower than, lower those, than a lot less, lower yeah. than that. But you can obviously you have to keep pressing the centre button. You can, so you can limit it to whatever amperage you want to, right? Up to 16 amps or yeah. off. Okay. So say say it's set to seven amps now. So you're drawing electric. You've got your heating on. You've got everything else on. Mm. And it gets to that limit. What it will do? It will shut the heating off. Right. It'll actually shut the heating off or the the energy to the heater. Yeah. So you can run whatever you're trying to run on electric. Yeah. Then when it drops down to that amperage again. So you switch off whatever you do, air dry or yeah. cooker or whatever, it will allow the heater to come back on. Right. So it's obviously it's just that safe well I'll say safety thing, but it just stops the annoying thing of that, that tripping off. Yeah. So you've got to run out either get go and get the warden if it's you can't access it or you've got to flick it back up again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it shows oh, shows on the icon at the top there. That that's that's the amperage limited on the uh, on the top screen showing that's active. So I'm gonna say it is. Let's, I'll just switch that off. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So obviously that is a lot, a lot, a lot to take in on just mm, just yeah. that particular one. Obviously yeah. it is new for us as well, which obviously I've been uh, reading quite a bit about. But obviously until you actually play with it, it's, yeah, you've got to get into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But did I mention that? That was your that's your tank um, level. On, yeah. On so what's that side. showing at the moment? It's, with it's too big. It, it's roughly half full. So oh, it right. should have about four. Oh, I see. So there's, be, there's another one up here. Yeah. Oh, if see. it's empty, yeah. empty. Obviously, it'll yeah. let you know. Yeah. Obviously, you've got the tank alarm. If that's tank alarm's on, yeah. And it, and it will also tell you there as well. In that yes. in that area there, it will tell you that the tank is empty or yeah. it's low. Okay. I think it's it may, maybe when it drops down to about quarter. I think it's it starts to tell you, yeah. and it will let you know once. If you if you just press that button there, I think it is. It will it won't it won't warn you again. Mm -hmm. So it won't just keep beeping at you constantly to say it's full. It's empty. Yeah. It's empty. It's empty until you fill it. But okay. You can just uh, do that once, and that's it. Fine. Okay. And, and you fill up the tank from here. Yes. That. So plug it into the top port. Yes. Then you've got to Link. scroll through that. Yeah. To uh, do that. Oop. So you've got. Did I go through dimmer level? I don't uh, think I did, did I? No. <laughs> there's that much. There's that much different one. I, this is the first one I've done, so mm -hmm. or the first one I've uh, demonstrated. Anyway. So obviously you need dimmer level up. Mm -hmm. Press that. You see the lights dim now. Oh, yeah. So you got five percent. It's all percentage. So five, ten, ten percent, fifteen. Right. And again, you can uh, if you if you do connect it to iPad or whatever, you can dim the lights up and down remotely. Mm -hmm. Heating settings. Oh, that was the other thing. Heating settings. Right. So you click on it. Heating settings. You can set it to control manual. So that is actually using off the control panel of the actual system mm -hmm. if you want to. Timer, so you can set a timer if you wanted to, and then uh, app. So that's if you put it to that. Obviously, your Bluetooth connected. Mm -hmm. That's when you can control the heating through through the, right. through the command system. Right, Manu manual is obviously the one you want if you want to control it from that control panel there, which obviously we need to do in a second. Yeah. And exit settings. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, lovely. So now, when I put the um, pump, well, the, the feeder pipe into the bottom port, yes, it's just. I yeah, come in here and I just 
yeah. hit that button and then that'll activate that yeah. that pump. Yes. 